everyone, welcome back to my channel. So welcome to another What I Ate This Week video. I wanted to open up this vlog with a couple of comments to, about this week's video. So um, one thing you'll notice is only gonna have two days. I may add Thursday on there, but because of uploading and editing time, I may um, have to just do Monday and Tuesday. And the reason for that is because um, obviously Wednesday is Fourth of July, and everything that I'm going to be eating on Fourth of July, I am recording for a separate video that I'm doing as a collab that will be posted in a couple of weeks. And so I didn't want to show you that because it'll be coming to you in the video very in the very near future. So it's just going to have Monday and Tuesday. And also, I wanted to let you know though that I am going to be doing a couple of bonus videos this week. I'm going to do two cook with me's. One of them I filmed yesterday with last night's dinner, so I will put a picture of that right here. And it was a Thai peanut wrap. So that video I did post, I mean, I did um, film, so I just need to edit it and get it uploaded. So that'll be up this week. And also, um, Monday night's dinner is a golden chicken, and it's like a turmeric chi uh, mustard chicken. So that I am filming as well. So that will be up also this week. So I wanted to let you guys know that I will be sharing those recipes with you. Um, besides that, it's like I said, just going to be two days. And then, um, so I won't be filming anything on Wednesday or Thursday. And then Friday will be my normal update, you know, kind of just a chatty vlog on how the week went and weigh in update and all that. So that is what you have to look forward to this week. Um, I also want to let you guys know that July's 30-day um, challenge is going to be a thigh slimming challenge. So I will put that picture right up here and I also will link it down in the description box. So if you guys want to join me in that challenge, then you can. So that is everything. So if you want to see what I ate this week on Weight Watchers, please continue watching the video. Good morning guys happy Monday so I am not feeling very hungry this morning so I am just gonna take my breakfast to work so let me tell you what I have going on here I have a lot going on here so I'm gonna take one of my broiled grapefruits so this just has um, zero points worth of unsweetened coconut and a little bit of Truvia on there then I just put it under the broiler and get it all nice and toasty so this is zero smart points then I'm just bringing one of the Oikos Triple Zero Yogurts. This is in the orange cream, one of my favorites. This is three smart points. So that'll be the food portion. And then I do have some coffee here. This is the fat-free half and half I use. So for anybody who's new, I get this at Fred Meyer, which is also Kroger. This is a Kroger brand. It is really good and it's really creamy. See how nice and creamy my coffee is? So it, um, it is only one smart point for two tablespoons. I believe you can actually have up to three tablespoons for one smart point, but I never need that much. And also inside my coffee, I have um, the collagen peptides. You guys know I'm doing this for an entire month to see if I notice any difference that I'm gonna report out on it on a whole video about supplements. So I have about another week or so left to um, before I have a whole month of this. Um, but I really like this brand so far. I've tried some collagen peptides before that I um, could taste in my coffee and it made it really thick. This I really like. And then of course I have my water with a little bit of lemon. I try to drink five of these a day. That is my goal for the month of July is to drink five of these a day. Um, these are 20 ounce cups. And then I am doing the um, 30 day detox for the month of July. So this is some of the skinny tea from Teamy. Let me show you that. There is that. I always have a code in the description box for you guys to use. And then my coffee. So that's it. So that is what I'm starting my morning off with. And then for lunch today, I am having the cracked out egg salad that I meal prepped. I put that video up on Sunday. So check that out. Um, so this is one smart point. Oh my goodness. I'll have it up here on the screen to completely blanked that out. Um, but then I have a five of the Acmac crackers. These are the sesame crackers. Um, these you can have actually up to six for three smart points, but five fit nicely in my little container. So I just do five. So total for lunch today is going to be four smart points. And then for snacks today, I'm just doing some fruits and vegetables. So in here I just have a little fruit bowl. So I have a half of one of those golden mangoes. 
I have a half of a peach, well actually it's like a peach nectarine blend. I have just a quarter cup of blueberries and a quarter cup of strawberries. Now I like to weigh out my fruit just so I don't eat too much. So I'll just be probably snacking on this throughout the day. And then here, this is jicama. I've never tried it before, so I'm excited to try it. Um, as I'm trying to branch out, try new foods throughout the month of July. So um, I'm gonna try that with some of this roasted red pepper hummus, which is two smart points for two tablespoons. And then I also have some carrots that I just chopped up. So my snacks total is going to be two smart points. For dinner tonight, I made a recipe called Golden Chicken. It's using turmeric, it's from the Seasoned Mom. I will have the original recipe linked down below, but I did also do a cook with me video on this, which will be up sometime this week. Good morning, guys. So I literally just got back in from our morning walk and spoiler alert, I actually jogged for a little bit too. I noticed my dog like walks so fast, even for like a little guy. And so I thought, you know what? If he can walk that fast, I can jog. So I did, and I'll talk more about that on Friday in my update video. So I did elect to do that rather than have time to eat breakfast. It is 6.30, I still need to go finish getting ready, figure out what I'm gonna wear today. But I wanted to show you what I'm gonna take for breakfast, lunch, and a snack. So I'll just have to do breakfast on the go. Not feeling very hungry this morning. My stomach's a little bit queasy. That's why my lunch is what it is. Um, it's I'm not getting sick or anything. It's just, you know, that time of the month. So women issues going on. So um, I was gonna have the chicken curry for lunch, but I figure with the way my stomach's feeling, probably better not go for anything so spicy. That chicken curry is really spicy. It is really good. I had some on Sunday. After I made it, I had it for lunch on Sunday and um, my son's been eating it, so it is really good, but I did save one portion left to have today, but I'll just have it on Thursday or maybe tomorrow because I'm not sure what we're doing for lunch tomorrow. So anyway, let me turn you around and I will show you what I am packing up. Okay, so I'm just keeping it really simple for breakfast. I have one of these pineapple oikos yogurts. These are so good. So tell me, you guys, do you know um, in those extracts, let me show them to you. So I had somebody send me these extracts, um, Sandra, and so she sent me a banana and a coconut. I have not seen these anywhere in my town. Um, do they make a pineapple? Because if they did, that would be amazing yogurt. So let me know if you guys have seen the pineapple and maybe I can buy them on Amazon. I don't know. I need to look. But anyway, um, yeah, I think if they had a pineapple extract, oh my goodness, you guys, it would be so good. And actually, I may just just buy like a can of like crushed pineapple and oh, that sounds good I'm gonna write that down on my list for next week so I think that's what I'm gonna do is just like a can of crushed pineapple and mix it in with the plain non-fat Greek yogurt I think that would be amazing but I think pineapple extract would add just a little bit more pineapple anyway three smart points for this yogurt banana I have both of my cup of, cup, cups of coffee that I normally have I normally have one for, with breakfast and then I take one to work so I just put both of them in this travel mug so this is two smart points for the coffee, three smart points for the yogurt. So breakfast is five smart points. So for lunch, I decided just to have a salad. Again, my stomach's just feeling just a little bit off. So this right here is this. So I'm gonna show it to you. I have this um, on the weekend sometimes. So it is the John Soul's beef fajitas. It is so good, you guys. So I have five ounces in here, which is three smart points. So I put it in a separate container because I like to heat it up before I eat it. So there is that. So in here I have two points worth of avocado, one point worth of feta cheese, some onions and tomatoes, and just a little bit of fat-free mozzarella. And that is it, I just tossed it all together. So there's that. And then this is the Opa Ranch. I have three tablespoons for two smart points. So lunch is gonna be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight smart points for this salad. And then as far as snacks today, I am having, oh, this jicama, you guys, was so, so good. I can, I'm definitely gonna make that as part of my regular snack routine. So I have some jicama, some celery, some cucumbers, some roasted red pepper hummus, and then some cherries. So this will be my snack today. So for Tuesday night, my husband wanted me to bring home something for dinner, so I picked him up Sonic. I planned on making a Mexican chopped salad, then I remembered I forgot to take out 
any meat. I didn't have any chicken, did not have any ground beef. Also did not even have any frozen chicken to take out. So I just picked up a salad from McDonald's. I picked up the Southwest chicken salad. I just use a lime wedge for this. I don't use any dressing. So it is three smart points.